Hi everybody, it's Kevin at Bear Creek Honey. Uh, another project for you today. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is a, um, a bee vacuum. Um, I myself have absolutely never vacuumed out bees before, but um, just in case I uh, run into a swarm or a cutout, I figured it's a sort of a good idea that I can take advantage of that. So uh, I spent uh, the last couple of days building a uh, uh, a bee vacuum. Uh, I got the plans from uh, various sources on the internet. Actually, uh, I just kind of copied uh, sort of what they did. Um, a couple of my own little tweaks. Uh, I'm still going to make changes to it because there's a couple of things that I. I think can be done better, but uh, for the sake of expediency and cheapness, I went uh, I went this route. Um, the uh, the bee vacuum that I built consists of uh, essentially five pieces, um, six, I guess if you count the, the vacuum itself. Um, you got the bottom slanted box uh, here, and I'll show show you all this. Uh, we have the uh, the deep hive body, Langstroth hive body, just standard deep, uh, 10 frames. It's got a screened top board, and then you have your uh, lid for pulling a vacuum. Um, so that's the one, two, three, four pieces here. Um, five would be, you got your strap down to, to, to hold everything together. Um, and, and I'll be honest with you, when you pull the vacuum, it holds itself together fairly well, but uh, when you turn it off and uh, I turn the vacuum off and uh, you go to move it, you don't want to disturb uh, the boxes and have them a movement slide or anything like that. So it's good to have them strapped down. Plus, it also gives you a, uh, a little hold to, uh, if you need to lift this up onto a ladder, uh, you can pull it up on the ladder with you and tie it off and just hang it, hang it from the ladder. Um, And then the last port is, of course, the uh, the shop vac itself. Now, um, I went online, and I uh, this is your inlet. This is uh, this is where you'll suck bees into right here. This is a gated uh, inlet valve. Uh, I went on shop vac uh, website, and I found these uh, these gate these gates. These are for um, oh dust collection for um, your your workshop. They're six bucks, to be honest with you. Uh, great price. The only unfortunate part, it's it's about eight bucks in, it's a little over eight bucks in shipping. I think it, it was like $16 total for this one piece. Um, it's got a two and a quarter inch inside dimension in here. Um, and the, the hole that I used to drill it was two inches. A lot of different size, uh, uh, Shop vacuums are, there's nothing standard about them. You try to order them and get them right, and, and uh, two and a quarter inches, it doesn't exactly fit two and a quarter for this one. It might be millimeters for them. I, you know, I don't know. But uh, I just did my best. So anyways, the hole that uh, that this was drilled into right here was, was two inches, okay? Um, and that fit very, very snug. But the inside dimension here is two and a quarter, so that's where your hose fits. Um, just want to tip this up a little bit so you can see. We've got uh, two holes on top. The one is uh, where you uh, pull your vacuum from. This is where you would stick your end that connects to the shop back to this surface here. This is a, I believe it's two and a, yeah, two and a quarter inches and the shop back barely fits in there. I kind of had to jam it in there and I kind of uh, I need to wobble this out a little bit just to get a little bit, little bit wider. I just didn't have a, you know, I think uh, uh, two and three eighths would have been too big. So I used two and a quarter, um, and it was just a shade small. Um, the other one, uh, the other opening is is I made it an inch and three quarters, and this is just your air regulated regulation valve, and I uh, install. I had some plexiglass uh, laying around that I. Uh, used for a defunct uh, solar melter that didn't work with the dam. Uh, so I cut that up and this is just so I can actually 
it gives me a little port I can see if I'm getting bees in there uh, but this just turns and you can regulate your air airflow uh, if you're getting too much you're pulling too much and you're you can kill bees so um, this is what I've been told okay just so you know I've never vacuumed a bee in my life so just in case um, I, you know, when I was when I was pulling down that swarm, actually right behind us here from the tree, uh, you know, I had to take a take a long pole and and push the branch up and let them fall down. And I just said, you know, it'd be, it would have been a whole lot easier if I could have just uh, taken a vacuum and just sucked all those bees up, and 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 they would have been uh, that have been all in here, and it would have been fine, and it would have been a very very simple and uh, quick way to to uh, to get the bees. Look at that! I got a little visitor here. She came. Uh, she came out to visit. But uh, so, what I'm going to do is uh, just show you um, how this uh, all gets put together. These five little pieces. inch plywood and it was just laying in the in the garage and uh, I said you know this would be this would be perfect it fits the Langstroth so all I did was uh, I um, I added some weather stripping to the edge so it, it gets a nice tight seal um, I added uh, a little bit of beef to this uh, just so when you plug your uh, hose extension in your you know it's twisting and turning this quarter inch plywood won't won't hold up so I stapled, um, I stapled that to the, uh, I glued and stapled uh, two half inch pieces of plywood together to, to create the depth, actually, and, uh, and then cored the hole in. And then, uh, and that's, uh, that's two and a quarter uh, dimension right there. And then this dimension here for this one that I cored in was um, uh, an inch and three quarters, I think. And then, uh, the little piece of plexiglass that I cut is just uh, three inch by three inch, and then I uh, I just threw a uh, a ten twenty four three quarter inch um, machine screw and uh, Loctited it in with a washer so that'll hold that so it doesn't fall off. So that's the top cover. This is the the uh, the hole that you're going to connect. Your hose to that connects directly to your um, shop back. The next piece was just a simple screen board, and this is uh, after you uh, vacuum up your bees. Uh, it's good to have this in place so that um, you can dissipate heat because this is going to be a, a closed environment until you get your bees home. So you want to be able to dissipate the heat as quickly as possible. And then, of course, uh, you also use it to stop the bees from coming up while you're, uh, while you're vacuuming. So it serves two purposes, one for transport, um, and the other one is for um, during the actual uh, bee vacuuming operation. And all it is is uh, I just made this quickly out of uh, three-quarter inch um, by three-quarter inch pine. And I, uh, I made it to the uh, size of a length straw, 16 and a quarter by 19 and 7 eighths. And then I just stapled some uh, screening in. I might go with one more, um, one more uh, board across just to give it something so that when I do put the strap across, it'll, uh, it'll hold a little bit better. But uh, the only downside to this, I might have to put some, well, the weather stripping actually on, on uh, on this seals on that on that screening so you don't need any weather stripping on there and then if you have a, a fairly level um, brood box then it will vacuum it will seal so you don't need the weather stripping uh, anywhere on here and this is of course going to be a brood box 
um, you know, you're going to need a new brood box every time uh, when you suck up. You're just going to take this, put it on your uh, on your bottom board, give it a cover, and away you go, and let your bees uh, go to town when you get home. But, uh, but this is just a simple Langstroth uh, deep hive body. For storage, I got my hose here. And then this, of course, is the bottom bottom board. You guys probably want to see this. I've got this now. I had a uh, this is a this is made from a from a, a honey super, a medium honey super. And instead of cutting it down, the handles were already here. So if I was going to cut this down, I would have cut it right in the middle of the handle. And I didn't want to do that. So you could go with a with a with a shorter one, for sure. Um, a shorter uh, box. You can split that down if you can split a, a a deep hive body. All the better. I had this one, so this is what I used. Um, and then I just cut. This is uh, this is called hardboard. Um, some call it masonite, but uh, they call it hardboard, and uh, it's it's at an. It, it, see, hopefully, you can see, you can see that that it's at an angle inside the the uh, the box. And what'll happen is, from what I've been explained, the bees will come in here, and they will hit this ramp. I guess you can call it. And once they're kind of in here, the heavy vacuum is sort of gone. You know, they're not in the hose anymore. And they can actually walk up this, and they'll walk right up into your uh, into your frames. And you're going to want to put in that deep box. You're going to want to put 10 frames in there to give the bees somewhere to hang out. Um, but they they won't come flying in and hit a, a flat square bottom back here. They'll actually come in and 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 hit on this. Uh, this board right here. This is just 3 16 inch board. You can use quarter inch plywood if you want. And then I just cut, I just cut some strips to staple it to. Uh, I didn't staple it before. I actually just sh stuck it in there. And when I pulled the vacuum, it actually sucked this board up. So I actually had to physically staple this down uh, to get it to hold. And it's got a. I just put a three quarter inch by three quarter inch board here. Uh, to, to get this to stop on the top and a three quarter inch board on the bottom to get this to stop on the bottom. So that's how I did it. Um, it's not the, uh, you know, it's not pretty. And then I added these, uh, these are called tarp hooks. Uh, and I got one on each side. And this is to use for strapping. Um, you know, you can use whatever you want for that. So it's really up to you. Uh, to my dismay, I was hoping that that uh, I've got an inverter in my truck that converts from uh, uh, direct current to alternating current, DC to AC converter, and uh, so I could plug in, you know, you know your laptop or whatever, run your laptop off of it, and I was hoping that I could run a shop back from it, but unfortunately, uh, the circuit will only uh, support like. 2.9 amps and the uh, the shop back um, runs off of about that pulls about 8 amps so you're all, you're gonna have to have a power source nearby to do this um, you can bring a generator out with you which again is an, is an added expense and an added thing to carry around with you uh, you know um, this project you know although it, it sort of looks cheap things add up uh, I had to buy a, an extra length of hose that was $32. Um, this was, again, $15 for this little piece. Um, you know, the, the wood I just count because I can actually, if I take all this apart, I can reuse this as a super. So so I'm not really out anything for, for the box. I already had the box laying around. A uh, couple of, of uh, brackets. These were uh, buck ninety-eight each. I bought those at Menards. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, you're gonna need a, you know, you're gonna need a ratchet strap if you got them laying around. Great. Otherwise, a pair of them is probably gonna cost you ten bucks. Uh, 
and of course you're going to need your shop back. Um, another thing I went and bought was a uh, was a crevice tool, and that was seven bucks for the crevice tool. And that's just so that uh, it's easier. Uh, it's, it throttles us down a little bit from a from a. I think it's a, a two inch hose for the shop back, and uh, it throttles us down to. Let's see what is that. One inch. Uh, so, you know, again, seven bucks. So uh, it all it does add up. So let's put this together, and uh, I'll show you. Actually, this hive right here was a dead out, and I've got some frames in there with some dead bees, and I want to see about uh, vacuuming those bees out of that out of those uh, those uh, that built out foundation, and uh, let's see if uh, if I can actually pull pull a vacuum on that. you is uh, this gated valve right here when you're sucking bees you want to have this wide open you don't want to throttle this down and use this as your throttle because the bees are actually coming in and they will hit strike that so you want this wide open at all times when you are done vacuuming you will keep a vacuum on when you're done vacuuming bees you'll keep the vacuum on and you will shut this gate now your bees can't can't come out literally can't come out of here okay um, here I'll show you real quick so that's the gate wide open and that's the gate closed not that you couldn't figure that out but I thought I'd show it to you so that's good to, to have for uh, for during transport to have that little gated you don't need it but uh, you know you can you know, if you don't, if you didn't have this, you know, you could plug your your hose in here and then just stick a rag in there, I suppose, if you wanted to. Okay. Now I don't have any frames in here, but but uh, you get the general idea. going to plug this in just to show you I'm not before I uh, before I strap this down I'm going to just show you what kind of vacuum this thing pulls we'll hook up our uh, our shop back here I got a cord stretched And actually, I can turn this on with this gate closed just to show you really quick here. how much vacuum. Actually, it leaks a little air down the bottom, that little bottom board, and it's actually pulling a vacuum on the on the top of this bottom cover, top cover here. But you can see that, that uh, it pulls a, a pretty good vacuum to hold these two together. Um, I don't know if it holds enough to. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you can kind of see it holds a pretty good vacuum. All right. So I bought this extra bit of hose. You're gonna want a, uh, from what I've been told, a larger hose uh, to suck the bees up. Uh, preferably, I think. This one is, I think it's an inch and a half. Nope, it's uh, 
this is two inch. Um, yeah, the outside dimension of that is two and a quarter. So that plugs right in there, just like that. And then, uh, I got no no pressure, but I gotta open this up. There we go. You can kind of see the top kind of go down a little bit when I so you know it's pulling a vacuum. And then you can adjust uh, your vacuum a little bit right there. It's still the pulls. Open it wide, yeah, it barely pulls now. I got it almost all the way open. There we go. Pulls pretty good. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm gonna pull out a couple of frames out of this. Uh, hive I got below, this dead out. And we'll see how it does. Strap this down. Okay, I got the uh, the baffle all the way open. Let's see. I'm still able to suck these bees up. So you get the point. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is probably put a bottom on this or I'm going to caulk those seams of the bottom board. But uh, let's take a real quick look and see what it looks like down on the bottom of this, uh, this hive box. So now you can see the bees, it doesn't get sucked all the way, they don't get sucked all the way up. They, uh, they stay down here, but uh, does a pretty good job of, uh, of vacuuming them up. Um, hopefully I get to, uh, to try this out, but uh, let's dump this out real quick. But what I'm gonna do, I think, rather than uh, then put a bottom in. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's take that out. Dump these out. Cause this is still pulling a vacuum through here, which means somewhere along the line, this seam is leaking a little bit. But I think I'm gonna just caulk this, uh, this outside seam and that should kind of take care of that. Uh, and give me a little extra pressure on my, uh, bee vacuum on my vacuum so uh, 
I hope you uh, got something out of it. Um, yeah, at the end there, I had this thing wide open and I was still picking up bees. Um, uh, there wasn't much difference between closed and, you know, and, and a quarter open. Um, it still pulled a pretty good vacuum. I had to really open it up before the pressure dropped uh, significantly. Surprisingly enough, I, I was surprised that it still pulled a, a pretty good vacuum out of there. So, um, you got any questions? Um, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you got any suggestions? I'm all ears. And um, I'll try to answer them as best I can. I can't wait to try to use this, uh, which means I, I get free bees. And that's kind of the whole point about getting free bees. I also want to give a quick shout out uh, to Jeff Horschel. I call him the uh, Bronx Cajun. Uh, sounds like he's from New York, but he's, uh, he's a, uh, a, uh, a swarm removal cutout guy down in, uh, down in Louisiana at St. Joseph's Abbey. So, um, most of the, uh, idea for this bee vac came from, came from him. So, uh, just give a sh quick shout out to him. So, until next time, happy beekeeping. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more.